Mr. Mercury here and today is just another part of the YouTube live subscriber counter and I thought I'd cut it into two because I realized how long the other video was getting and you know some people don't have really have that kind of attention span for videos that long um, so here I am with the other part and what I'm going to show you is how to create the uh, like a text box with a button and then well, that's to change the uh, the link you can see it spazzing out and that's because I I realized something off camera. Now, if we go to the code, um, the set interval, I got the five thousand here. You might have the same, well, you should have the same problem if you copied it correctly. Uh, that five thousand is meant to be the next one down. And if we refresh it now, we should notice that it goes back to normal. Uh, because that interval there, if we click the um, curly bracket, that functions here and the 5000 needs to be the second parameter. Uh, but we actually had it in here which is nothing to do with the actual set interval function. So that was causing a problem. Uh, so there you are, you can see it's going normally again now. Um, so if you just quickly move that it should be fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly go ahead and create the uh, text box and button and to do that we'll just use the input tag and we'll type will be equal to um, text and we'll give it an ID of uh, let's say channel name and we need that to access it later on and we'll just close that off with input and then we also want to use a button tag and we'll give that an ID also of uh, let's say update and we need to put that in some speech marks too and the name of that will just be submit and we'll close it off with a button tag as well so now if we save that and refresh the page you should see we should have a very basic looking text box and button as you can see very basic looking um, for the purpose of this tutorial I'm not going to change it but you can attach style into it and have this look in how you wish you can put it where you wish but for now I'm just going to leave it up here and what that's going to let us do is I've got two little channels open and we'll, we can copy these little links into here and it will update the page without us having you can see we're manually setting one when the page is loaded now we can actually change them within the page so uh, we're just going to use a little bit um, another jQuery bit of jQuery and we're just going to say or get the button which what did I call it I called it update so we'll say if update dot click then function uh, we'll s what we want to do when the buttons click is call our load channel function and if you remember we give it a name so we need to give it the name and that is going to be the text box text and to do that we can use the same thing dollar and we'll get the uh, text box one which is channel name and we can just say dot val for value and that should be fine so if we save that give this a refresh copy his little code uh, paste it in now when I hit submit it should say or change to his stuff so we got Richard Lewis 84,000 subscribers you can see it here uh, and his link is linking to his channel and again here's another channel we'll just test it with radio one submit now you see radio one and it's changed to them so there's a little text box um, as well to get that update and without having to manually hard code it in and that's one thing I wanted to show you the next thing I'll show you is um, how to display the channels image in here uh, it might get a little confusing again like it did yesterday uh, but we're gonna create a new thing here we'll have it let's say in between the name we'll call it P ID and that will be equal to um, YouTube image we'll say YouTube image close that off and now well we update all the other stuff we can say uh, YouTube image dot HTML uh, that will be equal to 
image source is equal to and then we want the code in here uh, so if we we might have to navigate to this uh, URL again so if I copy that because I need to see what it's called the image is in thumbnails no default thumbnails uh, snippet right so data the items zero snippet thumbnails dot and let me forget what that is default so we'll go ahead and see default and we need a backslash there and we also need a backslash right there and hopefully that's correct so we go ahead and try it and you can see that wasn't correct so we got the YouTube image there so the HTML image source is equal to ah I spelled that wrong default go ahead and try it now and that's still not working so let me check default oh URL default dot URL now we should see it and we still don't see it so what is going on here and it's thumbnails so this, these are just silly spelling mistakes thumbnails this should actually be working so there you have it after all that there we got the channel image so now let's quickly go ahead and change the channel and see if the image updates and now we have it there's the image uh, and there's also if we use where well, we use uh, default change it to medium now the channel image should be a bit larger or well, it looks it's much larger but there you have it there's the channel image so that's pretty cool and there's also other things on here which you could post to descriptions uh, publish that and all stuff like that so I'll leave that up to you to use there's another part of this video which shows you how to get the image and update it with a page so hopefully you enjoyed it probably going to be the final part unless some unless you comment something else that you want to see um, but other than that I hope you did enjoy the video if you did please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time